Hey guys, welcome to my video, uh, to my video series, uh, Minimalistic Understanding. It's a new term I have created. And uh, today I want to introduce you some, uh, I, I want to say things up front. All those things, what you see here, is these are my own concepts, my own theories, and my own inventions, right? Because I'm a person I like to explore things, to investigate, to see it from a new perspective, to approach it in a new way, you know, not always uh, 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 dealing with the same questions and answers, you know. So what you see here is uh, part one, uh, geometrical fields and layers. And what I mean by that is that I think that a human being is always interacting in geometrical fields or layers in his, during his whole uh, 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 during his whole life, right? And I did a little bit pre-work here, what you see now, I will explain it to you. So what you see here is a human. Also the same thing here is a human. So you see the, the, the head, the upper body, the legs and the arms. And the same thing here, the head, the upper body and the legs. What you see here is I have to finish it like this. What you see here is layers, right? You see those layers? And here's an horizontal way, the layers. And so the reason why I do that is I did some uh, pre-work here, but I will come to that uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the other part of my videos, because this is now part one to geometrical fields and layers. I think that a human being itself is a geometrical reference. And by that I mean is that the, the head has its own geometrical field layers the upper body has its own uh, geometrical field layers and down from the hips to the legs to your foot is another layer. So, and you have to see it as, as a U-form. So if we would cut it on the side, the side perspective, it would, it would look like this. And that's the human and that's the things he's interacting with. So... So, the thing why I say that is that it's quite interesting that actually the human being himself is a geometrical, perfect uh, uh, reference in regarding to his surroundings, he's interacting with, right? So, it is really important that you have to see it like this, like this is the, the head, here's the upper body and his arms and here's the legs. And each part has a layer, like this is from the neck and, and, and the head, his perspective, optical perception in geometrical fields and layers. The upper body has its own few geometrical fields and layers. And also from the hips down to the feet is another optical perception layer in, uh, in geometrical uh, fields. And what you see here is actually a square, right? So I, I lay down each layer as a square. And one line is always 180, unless you bend it, then it's 40, 90, and then round circle is 360, etc. So let, let's say with this one. The reason why I say that a human being himself is surrounded in geometrical fields and layers, and the human itself is a geometrical reference, is when a, an, a human being represents always 180, 180 degrees all the time, right? So 
when he looks at things, right? You're standing somewhere and you look at the horizon and you see. Uh, f oh, now let, let's look at from this layer right here, from the head layer. If the sun, if you look in the horizon and you see uh, the sunrise, right here, that rep represented here, and the sunset. So the sunrise goes up from 8 a.m. till uh, 9 p.m. And uh, you see the movement of the sun, right? But from the head perception, everything from this up in this direction. Now, if we would look it from the from the upper body, which is this part, this layer, then it would be more like then it would be more like uh hold on let me do it like this because it should be in this layer if we look at now from the upper body from here to from this in in this layer 8 a.m then the sun rise would go like this And then 9 p.m. right and if we look at from the from the hips down the legs to the ground I call this the ground level then the sunrise would be like this and here the sunset right so each layer has a different perception of seeing things. So if we look from the head layer, which is from here, it, this is this geometrical field layer. When we look at it from this perspective, the sunrise go, starts from here. It looks f far away. If we look at from this perspective, from the upper body layer, which is this layer right here, and we watch the sunrise sunset, it, it starts from here and goes this way, right? Now, if we look from the ground level, right, 8 a.m., it starts from this way, right? So uh, there, are, there are three different layers. So this is the, the head layer, this is the upper body layer, and this is the ground layer. So I don't want to talk now too much. I will do it in part two. So this is part one. So let me summary it together. And as I said, these are my inventions, my design and my concepts and my theory, right? So what I say is that the human being himself is, is, a, is a, a perfect geometrical reference and he himself is a geometrical, represents a geometrical uh, uh, reference. And he is surrounded and he himself is in a geometrical fields and layers. Which are represented here. So this is the human and here's the human. So the first layer is the, uh, the head layer, right? It starts from here and you see it in a square, in a horizontal way, in this direction. That's the head layer. So that's a geometrical field perception, uh, uh, optic perception in this field. Then from, from the, the upper body, the upper body is this part, is the second layer, which is this layer right here. So this is another perception, geometrical field optical perception. And then we have the ground level, which is the third one. This is all the way on the ground, is the the ground level and it's another different perception so that's that's the most important thing what you have to understand in part one that a human being himself is a geometrical reference and his optical perception has different layers one two three so the ground level the mid level and the high level or the head level the upper body and the ground level and it's it's a it's a, it's a, it's a very important thing to grasp that to understand that in things he's perceive optical perceive things in his surroundings and 
things in his surroundings that lay uh, that lays around him and I will come to that uh, uh, in our part two video this is part one by uh, how things are positioned in his surroundings I mean like for instance uh, the door knot or the uh, the doorbell or uh, the leaves on the ground or the chair we're sitting on or the table we are on so those things I will come to that in part two direction that everything has a geometrical uh, uh, position according to the human himself his the 100% geometrical reference right I did it also so this is in this view so this human looks in this direction right and here I did it the same thing with a side perspective right so 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 he's looking this direction here he's looking in this direction right and here he's looking in this direction so we have a nice profile uh, 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 perception that you see here again so here we have the the head level which is this square right here or the, 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 the high, high layer geometrical field. This is the upper body geometrical layer field and this is the ground level uh, body field. Let me, let me do it like this so we can see it better. So this is one, two, three. One, two, three. So that's the ground the uh, upper body upper body and this is head so in these three different layers and I will come on the second part uh, why it's important to understand those geometrical layers fields that a human being is always surrounding it all right so uh, thank you for watching and uh, let me write my name just down there All right, so that, that for now in part one, this is important that you understand that that a human being is in three geometrical field fields or layers, right? One, two, three. It's the the ground level, the upper body level, and the head layer. And these are very important things to understand for my for my part two in optical perception geometrical perception how things works out in his surroundings all right so uh and another thing is you have to see it, it looks it's kind of like a u-form which i will explain it on, on on my part two level so i did this here for myself and i will do this on my part two so here's a little spoiler <laughs> okay so uh thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on part two in geometrical fields and layers minimalistic understanding thank you